And welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Steve and we are starting, this is the first part of a series that we're going to take away some scientific papers like this one and we're going to talk about them in depth so as we get a bit of a handle of what they mean. Now last week we talked about how to read these scientific papers and what they mean. Well this paper we're going to look at today is a great way to start looking at a particular topic and it's a review paper. So one or two or three experts get together and they draw on all the science from all the literature around the thing and they put it into a paper so it's a great way to summarize the, the data. Now the reason why I've picked on this review paper, it's called a mini review but we'll just call it a review, uh, is it's an absolute beauty when it comes about the gut and, and we love the gut. Naturopaths live in the bowels. We just can't get enough of that shit, you know. And speaking of shit, a lot of your shit is made up from bugs. And bugs that we've talked about, there's five major classes of bugs in the gut, firmicutes, bacterioides, and all these sorts of things. Um, but the two that we focus a lot on are the firmicutes and bacterioides because those two phylums, which is the scientific name for groups, those two phylums of bugs make up 90% of our gut bacteria. So the ratios of those are very interesting and, and very good for, and, and what we're going to talk about today is how these bugs help with weight loss. Um, and the title of the paper that we're going to talk about today is High Polyphenol Low Probiotic Diet for Weight Loss Because of Intestinal Microbiotica Interactions. Whoa! What does that title mean? That means that we're going to be talking about how the bugs in your gut affect weight loss or weight gain as the case may be now this is a great paper nine pages long and it talks quite in depth about how the bugs in the gut cause weight gain and it talks about uh, as the title suggests polyphenols and it talks about a low probiotic diet for weight loss because of intestinal microbiotica so we know that the two major classes of bugs the firmicutes and the bacteria the firmicutes like the clostridia and the um, um, the lactobacillus and the bacterioides, they're, they're the two main groups. Even the firmicutes are a lot higher. We know from previous studies that firmicutes are higher in obese people, but we don't know if that's just, uh, you know, like more fat people say, drink diet drinks. We don't know that's a result or a cause, but now we know because this paper talks about how we need to reduce these firmicutes down. And the way we do that is to have a high polyphenol diet. Now, polyphenols are found in plant foods, and we've wondered for, for years why things like apple cider vinegar and, and grape sort of um, you know, fermentation things are great for weight loss, and we now know it's because of the polyphenols. So polyphenols go around, they kill the bugs in our gut that can cause obesity. Uh, and um, of course, you know, let's bell the cat, uh, ATP Science has bought out a brand new product that's rich in polyphenols called Gut Right. And look, gut right's great for your gut and great for all these diseases that we've, we've, we're doing a podcast on this afternoon. But one of the ways that it works is it helps modulate the bacterioides by increasing them and reducing the firmicutes. And this paper goes on to say that a high polyphenol diet with low probiotic um, in there do it. So, so you've got to get rid of all the supplementation of things like lactobacillus acidophilus and that that can increase weight gain. Uh, polyphenols are great for normalizing this gut flora so as you can lose weight. So while polyphenols are good for all sorts of things in your body, this paper goes on to say that the ratios between them are vitally important. And and this is what it's all um, you know, this is what it's all saying. So I'm gonna skip to the conclusion of this paper and read it to you. It says weight lowering property of fruits, green tea and wine vinegar in obese people may be partially related to the polyphenol content in them, which consequently changes the gut microbiotica through the bacterioides higher than glycan degrading um, uh, capabilities than firmicutes through the end products of the colonization process. So basically, it reduces the firmicutes and increases the bacterioides in the gut. And that's how things like apple cider vinegar can work. Apple cider vinegar increases acetic acid because it is acetic acid and that modifies the gut. So yes, exercise, eat well, low carbs, all these sorts of things, but also can kid consider the bacteria in the gut because they are extraordinarily healthy for your body and for weight loss. So enough said. Please 
send any questions you've got and thanks for your time today. Have a great day.